Hello and welcome to this comparison video of ChatGPT versus ChatSonic. What I'm going to be doing is using similar prompts in order to kind of get similar information in the output and then compare and contrast some of the features. And at the end, what I'm going to talk about is what I think the best aspects of each of these softwares has for them so you can have a good idea of who you want to go with. Of course, if you're not familiar with ChatSonic, they do come with a free plan. I will leave a link down below where you can check that out. As well with ChatGPT, they do have the ability to use them for free. And ironically enough, today, this is the first time I've seen this where you can upgrade if you want. I haven't used this yet, obviously, since it's the first time I've seen this. So I will be comparing the free plan here towards using a paid plan of ChatSonic in this. So first, what I want to do is write 10 email subject lines related to the best online marketing tips. I'm going to do the same exact with ChatGPT. So let's click on this, let it load. And let's go back over here and do the same thing. Give me a second. I'll come back and we'll compare the information. All right. So here we are with ChatSonic first. Don't miss out on the latest online marketing tips. Unlock your business's full potential with these online marketing tips. Find the right strategies for your business. Get ahead with the curve. Uh, discover the secrets to our online marketing success. Maximize your digital reach. Generate more engagement. Get the most out of your budget. Measure online marketing results. Unlock the secrets to mastering online marketing. Let's go over here. So actually very similar where it these kind of ended up with the at the end here these online marketing tips we had a few of these where they're pretty redundant and just looking at it here some are kind of similar where they end with like tips for success marketing efforts marketing tips anyway 10 proven strategies to boost your online marketing efforts maximizing your online visibility unlocking the power of digital marketing online marketing made easy the ultimate guide to effective online marketing and so on and so forth you can read those there so you know it's really going to be hard to compare you know which ones you like better i know that it's not like a huge input or output there, but just kind of give you an idea here. And what I want to do next is continue on from there. So let's find an email subject line that we like. And then I'm going to create a prompt where we can write an email with this just to compare the email that we get because we'll get a little bit more content. So give me one second. All right, so here's the prompt that I'm going to use for both of these. Write an email for my subscribers that has a subject line of the ultimate guide to effective online marketing. In this email, I want you to mention why YouTube is one of the best platforms for online marketing and a call to action where they can click a link and watch a video for more information. So same prompt is going here in ChatSonic. I'm going to click on the arrow button. Let's let this load. Then I'm going to go over here. I have the same thing pasted in. Let's let this load as well. And once it's done, we'll get back to it. All right, so here we go. Here's the chat sonic version first. We have our subject line, dear subscribers. Are you looking for the most effective way to market your business online? Look no further. This guide has you covered. Then it talks about the YouTube section. So it's rapidly becoming one of the best platforms for online marketing. So we did want that right. That's why we created the ultimate guide to effective online marketing to help you do this, this, and this. Plus, get a free video tutorial to help you get off to a great start. You can click here to watch the video and get started with it and so on and so forth. That's our call to action. And of course, the sign off. So not bad. We're getting exactly what we were looking for. And let's go back up here. We got a little bit more with it when it comes to chat GPT. Hope this email finds you well. I don't know about you, but I'd probably never put that in an email. So just delete that if you wanted to. Uh, and it talks about some valuable insights, one of them being YouTube. When it comes to YouTube, it talks about some stats here. So whether you're promoting a product service or just building your brand, it's great. Uh, to help you make the most of this, I created a video that dives deeper into the practices. I invite you to click the link. And then, of course, that'll be right there. And then a sign off. So overall, I like the chat GPT output a little bit better. It seems a little bit more personal. Obviously, this is just one example of just tons that you can do, but you know, it gives you a good idea of the type of content that you get for both of these. Both are overall still pretty good. Got a little bit less here, but we got exactly what we were looking for and I kept it pretty broad so they can kind of go on however they want it. So I'll keep that there so you can decide. Like I said, this is just one example. It's not the be all end all, but this is a good evaluation from what I've seen from both of these AIs overall. All right, so here's another big deal when it comes to ChatGPT versus ChatSonic. This is going to be a pretty easy one just for the fact that it has very limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. And so we have a question here. Who is going to be playing in the Super Bowl in February 2023? Let's throw that in here. Go back to ChatSonic. And as it says, uh, you can get upcoming news, upcoming news, like it's going to predict the future, right? So you can get news that happened recently. So so let's go with the same question here. Let's hit enter, give it a sec to uh, get our results, and we'll come back to it.
All right. So one of the biggest downfalls of chat GPT, I'd have to say a lot of people have been talking about, you know, it even states it itself, but here's a good answer. You know, it's not the answer you're looking for, but at least it's upfront and honest, right? I'm sorry, but I do not have information on the specific teams that will be playing in the Super Bowl. So my training data only goes up until 2021 and future events are difficult to predict. Okay. So let's go to chat Sonic very easily here. Very good answer. So the Eagles and the Chiefs will be facing off, be held at the State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. I believe that's where it is without looking. It'll be on Fox. Rihanna will be at the halftime and tickets are required to participate in game day experience, so on and so forth. And the cool thing, it, easy, it even gives you references here, which is nice, given the fact that it is news that's something you're going to want. So when it comes to anything current news related, yeah, Chat Sonic is easily going to have the upper hand. Keep in mind, though, I've done some examples in separate videos that you will want to fact check, too, because sometimes what will happen is that say you ask who's going to be playing in the Super Bowl and what will happen, it'll find an article that say happened four months ago and it will predict who is going to be there. So sometimes the information can be off. So I did this a separate time and it said something like the Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. And then it's the prediction for who's going to be winning was like the Rams or something, which is just hilarious because they're not even in the Super Bowl. So don't forget that even when it comes to news and non news stuff is that you're going to want to fact check. But I'm pretty sure you can say that just for any type of AI software that you're going to be using. So when it comes to the battle of ChatGPT over here, which we talked about, and of course, ChatSonic, like I said, there's so many more examples that I can do. This is just kind of a rough overview of it where you can always test them out yourself. But based upon what I've used, the reasons why you're going to want to use ChatSonic, in my opinion, so scaling purposes, this is going to be comparing to the ChatGPT free version. Like I said, I haven't used the upgraded one yet. So based upon the knowledge that I know, ChatSonic can be very helpful when it comes to scaling simply for the fact that ChatGPT, when using it for free, you get a limited amount of inputs or usages as i've run into many times when creating videos it'll say like too many inputs per hour now you have to wait given the fact that chat sonic is going to be paid you still can get a good amount of content for the money that you have to pay for so if your idea is to scale and write a lot of content without after worrying or waiting chat sonic can be good for you it's also good as we talked about with the current news there's really no battle there if you're all about using ai and you want current news chat sonic is going to be the very easy winner also, something to keep in mind is that Chat Sonic comes with a lot more. I know it is Chat Sonic versus Chat GPT, but Write Sonic is going to be the software, and Chat Sonic is just one of the features. When it comes to Write Sonic, there's plenty of other templates and tools that you can utilize, which are going to be very heavily related to like social media, online business, and marketing. So, if you're like a business owner, an online marketer, I think Chat Sonic is also going to have an advantage there. So, those are some of the biggest reasons that I've come up with that you might want to use Chat Sonic versus Chat GPT. Once again, I will leave my link down below where you can test out chat sonic for free keep in mind it's right sonic that's the software and chat sonic is just one of their features when it comes to the free trial and yes you can try chat sonic with that free trial and on the other hand, we have ChatGPT. So what I've seen from doing a lot of tutorial videos about them is that they are very consistent and they have great quality. This is something that I've run into pretty much over and over and over. And that's a good thing. Like you want to run into good quality. Obviously, when it can't answer something, it'll be straight up. But I do think that ChatGPT does have slightly better quality. But when it comes to ChatSonic, you can up their quality, but you're going to lose the amount of words that you get. I was using good. You can always upgrade to premium. But when it comes to ChatGPT, they're always just great. That's a good thing. Also, as I talked about, they are a free option. They do have the free option and the upgraded plan. So if you're not worried about scaling and you don't mind waiting and you just want some free content, you're not going crazy when it comes to scaling or anything like that, then yeah, ChatGPT might be a great option for you given the fact the free option and you can just use it during that limited time period where you might have to wait a little, but hey, that's what comes along with it being free. So those are some of the reasons why you might want to use ChatGPT. I will also have a link for them down below in case you haven't used them. Either way, I hope that helps you out when it comes to the comparison of ChatGPT versus ChatSonic. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.